Thank you everyone for coming. Um, we start everything here at Knoxville Catholic uh, with a prayer, so if you would please bow your heads, join me in prayer in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the gift of this day and the opportunity to gather for this special occasion. We thank you for the gift of Knoxville Catholic High School and the Mancinis, the Coxes, the Jumas, and the Mesmer families. We are grateful for the day that they decide to trust us with their most precious possessions and enroll their sons and daughters in our school. We thank you for the gift of sports, and we are so grateful that these four athletes made the decision not to settle for being average, but to always work hard and, and to strive to do their best in the classroom and in the athletic arena. I pray that each of them understands how important it is to completely place their trust in you each day of their lives, to always remain humble and give you glory when they succeed, and to call on you and ask for help when they face adversity and suffer disappointment and loss. Father, we thank you for your mercy, grace, and overwhelming love for us all. In your name we pray. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Welcome, parents, family members, friends, coaches, teachers, and any media that are here. We thank you for coming to our fourth National Signing Day of the 2015-2016 year. Um, my name is Jason Serlis, and I, I'm the athletic director here, and, and I, along with our assistant athletic directors, Sarah Bailey, uh, Mike Hutchins, our president, Vicki Somparak, and our entire administration, uh, we want to thank you for being here. We're honored to present this special ceremony. First things first, let's introduce our guests of honor. And you guys stand just for a second when I introduce you, please. Uh, first, Camille Mancini. Uh, she is signing with Benedictine College for track and field. Go ahead. <clears throat> Elijah Cox, LMU Golf. <clears throat> Asad Juma, University of Illinois Chicago Gymnastics. <clears throat> and Haley Mesmer, North Carolina State University Gymnastics. <clears throat> I love that we have two gymnastics uh, folks out here. This is the, actually the second and the third of my 10 years, uh, and we had two in one year, so that's great. Um, we are gathered today to join four awesome young men and women to four wonderful institutions. It sounds like a marriage a little bit, isn't it? I don't want to scare you all, uh, but it is. It is sort of a marriage. The staffs, the coaching staffs of Benedictine and LMU and UIC and NC State have discovered something that most of us already knew. That Camille, Eli, Assad, and Haley are not only great athletes, but they're great students as well. And even more importantly, they're great people. And in the same token, these four athletes are trusting these four universities to take care of them for the next few years. Choosing a college as, uh, as a senior is very difficult for any senior. But it's, uh, I think, a little more difficult when there are athletics involved. I'm sure hours and hours of conversations with their parents, family members, friends uh, have taken place, and many, many prayers were involved. Today would not be possible without their commitment and sacrifice, but also the commitment and sacrifice of their, their parents, their families, their coaches at, at all levels, uh, their teachers, their guidance counselors, and even many of their friends. I've asked each of them to give about a five minute speech. Um, so they're prepared, no, I'm kidding. I get them, I know you've heard, a lot of you heard that, but I get them every time. Uh, I think they would allow me to speak on their behalf, so I'll do so. On behalf of them, I wanna say a great big thank you to each of you in this gym. Um, I know there are several of you that have played huge, huge roles in their, in their athletic careers, and even small roles, but every role is important. Parents, families, and friends, but especially parents. Thank you for all the times volunteering to help with anything that they needed to be done for the team. All the time spent watching and supporting them in all kinds of weather, at all times of the day and night. All the time uh, meeting them after meets, matches, and competitions and when they didn't do as well as they wanted to do, and you thought, maybe I should say something, but then you, you thought maybe that would be best I don't. Or 
at the precise time telling them what they needed to hear. Um, in my experience as an athlete, growing up there were times where I had doubts. I never told my parents that, but I had doubts. But after, uh, you know, the hardest times when you face adversity and when you, you're coming off that field or coming off that mat or coming off that golf course or that track, it, there's a very, very vulnerable time there. And, and growing up, uh, I think you all said the right things and you pulled them through. Today is all about these four, but it is all about you as well. High school and youth coaches, teachers and counselors, thank you for always encouraging them, for finding ways to motivate them to fulfill their potential in their sport and the classroom, all while making them feel loved and cared for. Sometimes you had to be the bad guy. You didn't want to be the bad guy, but you knew you, that it was what they needed. And I want to say something to their future collegiate coaches. On behalf of Knoxville Catholic High School and, our, and the athletic department, I would like to thank you for offering these four the opportunity to do what they love, all while getting a great education. I am 100% confident you're going to look back at this and say, wow, that was, that was a great decision we made when we signed those, those kids. And, and last but not least, to our four athletes, thank you for simply choosing sports. I'm sure when you were young and, and Camille, you challenged somebody to a race, or Eli, you wanted to go out and hit golf balls for three hours, and, or you guys want to do backflips or double uh, back handsprings into all. <laughs> that was fun. I'm sure that was fun. That's how it started. You didn't probably think, well, I'm going to go do a backflip because it's going to help me get to college one day. But as, as you grow older and that fun sport kind of turned into something a little bit different, it required more time commitment. Especially, I know gymnastics, gymnasts spend a lot of time in, in the gym. More preparation, more sacrifice was required, and you endured it all. Thank you for never sacrificing your fun, or for sacrificing your fun time in a lot, uh, a lot of times over the last several years. For never giving up when the times were tough. For spending all those hours in the, in the summer and on the weekends practicing or playing your sport when your friends were at the mall or the movies or the pool or the lake. Most people see the body of work in a competition, at a gymnastics meet, at a track meet, at a, at a golf match. But, and I know a lot of you have seen these four, you know, in competition. But it's what happens outside of the competition that makes a day like this possible. Uh, when no one is watching, that's when you have to work the hardest. I also need to mention their dedication in the classroom. Uh, over my time, is, is from graduating college to being in this position, I have seen a lot of changes over the years. College coaches do not want to take kids that are not serious about their studies. 20 years ago, it happened a lot. Now it doesn't. These, two, these four have done a tremendous job of juggling their athletic careers with their academic careers. Probably managed to ha have a little bit of fun in there too. All the hard work by these athletes and their parents pays off today. This is the beginning of a new chapter in their lives. Please join me in giving the Mancinis, the Coxes, the Jumas, and the Me Mesmers a very well-deserved uh, round of applause. <clears throat> What we'd like to do now is take a, uh, maybe two to three minutes. If you would like to take a picture of the whole group together, please do so. Uh, in about two to three minutes, we're gonna ask the three of them step aside um, and we're gonna sign papers. Of those of you that have the papers, we'll sign them uh, with parents and, uh, and coaches. We ask that the students and friends just kind of hang tight for a while. We'll get to you guys at the end, but, uh, but feel free to take some pictures right now.